everybody, what's up? It's Matt Fish from Melt Bar and Grilled. We are here tonight with one of my good friends, Michael James. He is in charge of our pinball tournaments. Did you know that we do have pinball games at Melt? Well, if you don't, look behind us. We've got some amazing games at Independence. We've got some amazing games out in our Avon store. Our Short North store will soon have some awesome video games and arcade games and pinball games and we're looking to get Mentor also done. So it's, it's kind of a new, it's a new thing for us. You know, you've got the pinball games, the arcade games, we're throwing some claw machines in for the kids. So it's really cool to, A, when you're, while you're waiting to sit down for a table, you've got a great waiting room here. B, if you've already ordered and you're waiting for your food, come on over and play some games. Or C, when you're finished up, if you get dessert, this could be your dessert. Mike, tell me, tell us, tell the people at home what happened, why we're here, what's going on. Well, pinball was seen as being dead. Pinball was, what? was a 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 90s, 2000, and then started to fall off a cliff. And the resurgence has been in part led by competitive play. And Cleveland, surprisingly to a lot of folks, not only has a strong competitive pinball world, but it is pound for pound the best place in the United States and maybe the world as far as having top-ranked players around the world all competing in its tournaments, to which Melt now is very much a part of. Having an environment like this is so important to playing in an arcade competitive world because you're providing something that has such a great atmosphere. Yeah, I love pinball. I loved pinball as a kid. Recently, since I've been coming to this tournament and I've been watching you play and I've been getting some instruction from Michael and some of the other guys, I'm starting to get a little better. I'm starting to understand there's a lot of small nuances to these pinball games that unless you unless you dive in and start to realize it, you're not, you don't even know half of what's going on in these pinball games. As soon as you get a multi-ball in play, you're hooked. You're absolutely hooked Super as fun. soon as you can get these objectives into play. And the thing about these tournaments is, as much as they have great players, here in Cleveland taking part in the melt, both women and men's, and, 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 and to have these great players can seem intimidating. However, the environment is one where everybody is welcome. If you've never played pinball and you've been curious, or if you're just an amateur player that's always enjoyed it, this is a come one, come all environment where you are pitted against players on your level and don't have to face against the best of the best of the best. But meanwhile, you can, of course, learn from and aspire to be like right. the best of the best. So we have monthly tournaments, like I said, here at Melt Bar and Grilled in Independence, the second Thursday of every month. Tonight, we're doing a women's only tournament, which is going to be really fun and cool. And then every other month, we do a all players welcome tournament. Um, we're probably going to start some tournaments elsewhere. We are partnering with Arcade Super Awesome down in Columbus at our Short North location. And they have an amazing tournament that's already established, which we're going to be picking up probably close to 70 different players that are going to be coming in every Thursday down in the Short North in Columbus. So that's going to be amazing once we pull that trick off. Get your Twitch on, people. It's the original analog Twitch sport, pinball. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.